Hi everyone, this is Leah from Manuscript Manager and welcome to our tutorial on inviting reviewers and monitoring the invitation process. In order to guide you through this tutorial today, I'll be logging in as Associate Editor. You'll see that by clicking that role, I come right into the dashboard for the Associate Editor. It might look a little bit less dynamic than your dashboard looks for your journal. That's simply because we're in our demo. But I would still come over to the same list of manuscripts in review. And by clicking on that list, it opens up into a more detailed view. And from that detailed view, I'm going to choose manuscript number 138, View Review. And you can see that by clicking that button, I'm brought into the Reviewer tab page for this manuscript. I've presumably already viewed the details of the manuscript and gotten familiar with its contents in the Details tab page. I've now moved over to the phase where we're dealing with the actual invitations for the review. In a previous tutorial, we've shown how you can use this function, search for a reviewer, at the bottom of the page, in order to generate a list of potential reviewers. And here you see we have a list of selected potential reviewers for this manuscript. Just to get oriented, in the gray box at the top, the number of reviews required to make a decision or recommendation for this manuscript is two. Now this may be from the default settings of the journal. As an associate editor, I have the ability to change that number if necessary. But for our purposes, I've left it at two. And still you'll see that I've generated a list of five selected reviewers. And that is simply to be ready to invite the next one on the list if you were to handle these invites individually. When it comes to inviting reviewers, you can indeed invite individually by clicking the envelope icon next to the name. Another option you have is to invite all the reviewers on your selected reviewers list with the click of one button down here, invite all. If I were to click that button right now, a new screen would pop up confirming that all five of these reviewers had been invited and I would be kept abreast of the progress of those invitations via email. The system will automatically keep me updated on any change in status. And that would be if a review were declined or returned. Now, for our purposes today, what we're going to do is show what it looks like to initiate the process manually by inviting the first person on our list. Here we have uh, Ulf Anderson. He's the first person on our list. We have presumably prioritized our list according to the best reviewers for this manuscript at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and invite both. You'll see that by clicking that envelope icon, I'm brought into the email invitation for the reviewer. If necessary, I could even type in the text of this document. The important thing to note is that the link that allows the reviewer to access the manuscript is here at the bottom of the email. It is via this link that they would accept or decline to review. I'm going to save and send that email. And you'll see that brings me to this little message that it has been sent. Click continue. And I come right back to the reviewer tab page. Now on the reviewer tab page, I can see that Ulf Anderson has been invited and that his reply is pending. At any time before he actually does reply, if I should regret the decision to invite him, I could come over to this icon here and click Cancel. This would allow the system to send an automatic notification that this invitation had indeed been withdrawn, and I could go ahead and invite the next person on the list. Um, anyone whose invitation is canceled that is on the selected reviewers list can be reinstated on the list very easily with a reset button after canceling. So that's no problem if you uh, change your mind one more time. This same person could be re-invited to review. But in any case, Ulf Anderson has been invited and at this point we could move right down on the list and invite the next person. But rather than do that, I'd like to call your attention to the fact that most journals have an automatic invitation as part of their um, reviewer invitation strategy. Now you can read more about the functionality of the reviewer invitation strategy in this box down here, the read more box. But essentially what this means is that if these two functions are switched on, 
the automatic invitation as well as the automatic review cancel. Um, your job as associate editor is basically to compile this list of selected reviewers, put them in a prioritized order, and be ready for them to actually be contacted. You would invite the first person on the list, after which the automatic functionality of the system would take over and continue to invite, re-invite, and withdraw invitations as necessary um, until the required number of reviews was met. You would not actually have to log in and keep tabs on the results of these different invitations. You would get automatically notified by email by the system of the status of this manuscript and the status of these different reviewers and their invitations and their declines or accepts or returned reviews. And then you would get one final notification when the number of required reviews had been met and this manuscript was ready for your decision or recommendation. In order to follow the process through uh, to the end and understand how to make a decision or a recommendation, I would recommend going on to the next video. But for today, this concludes our instruction on monitoring the invitation process. I hope it was a helpful video and have a good one. Thanks for being with us and bye-bye.